Welcome everyone to BTV. It's Beeston versus Clifton Robinsons. It's Saturday the 15th of February 2020 and we're bringing you live coverage from the Investec Premier Division. You can see in the background it's a little bit grey. The floodlights are on as we're approaching pushback at two o'clock. Conditions are not ideal. You can't tell how difficult it is out there for the players today because the camera is making it look a lot better than it actually is. I'm looking through the window here at the chapel. The, the rain is coming down, the wind is swirling and it is deeply unpleasant for the players. So do be aware if we suddenly go off air, this is the wind protocol coming into play. So if we suddenly go off air, it's for the safety of everyone. So we'll try and keep you as aware as we can of what's going on. There won't be a walkout today, so we'll join the game as soon as we can. In fact, looking over there, you can see the rain in the air. It is not pleasant at all. So there are some other games going on. Braving Storm Dennis today. This is the way things currently stand in the Investec Premier Division. Surbiton have beaten Loughborough students by three goals to one. That was the match starting at midday. Half one, so they're half one hour into that one. Hampstead and Westminster nil. Buckingham won. A uh, little bit of a, a little shock potentially on the cards there. Uh, Buckingham looking good as they are starting the second quarter. Bowden High Town and Holcomb. That one is just nine minutes old, nil-nil. Surbiton's result has seen them secure their 12th win out of 13 games and are on 37 points. Hampstead and Westminster in second place as things stand. They're currently down by a goal, as I said, to Buckingham. East Grinstead, they're off playing indoors this weekend. They will remain in third place uh, come whatever happens in the table today. Clifton Robinson, today's visitors, they are in fourth place with 16 points. Uh, they are 11 points behind East Grinstead. But uh, behind them, Buckingham in fifth place. So that result could be important for Clifton Robinsons today. Loughborough students in sixth, Holcomb seventh, Bowden Hightown in eighth. All very much bunched together. And the two teams still on single figures, Beeston and University of Birmingham. So Beeston versus Clifton Robinsons is our match today. Of course, we'll keep you up to speed with the goings on in the rest of the competition as well. On your screen are the match day 16s marked with the X are the players who are starting. So starting for Beeston is captain and goalkeeper Nicky Cochran, Myri Drummond, Ali Eady, Addis Huddleston, Lauren Burrell, Kim Leeper, Courtney Chanel, Charlotte Triggs, Katie McKee, Paige Gillett and Ruby Apula. Starting for Clifton Robinsons, Aline Davisa in goal, Alex Ogilby, Catherine Lane, Levy Hopkinson, Maria Jones, Zoe Leach, Phoebe Richards, Natasha Mark-Jones, Claire Thomas, Kitty Chappell and Lily Webb, who's the captain today. Uh, well, I'm expecting the captain today to be uh, Claire Thomas, but it is Lily Webb who has the uh, has the band. Also a start today for Flora Fletcher for Clifton Robinson's. That's her first appearance of the season. Umpires are Claire White and Stephen Cox, and we are off and underway, hopefully, this game will go off without incident. The last time I did any kind of commentary on hockey, you might remember it got cancelled due to the weather. It's almost like it's following me around at the moment. Beeston in the dark shirts, Clifton Robinson's in the light shirts. And it is a Beeston ball that will get play underway. You can see the flagpoles in the distance swirling around in the, uh, in the weather. I'll say it again, it is not pleasant at all. Well done to the hardy souls out there watching out on the spectator gallery today. And also to uh, to the officials who've travelled a long way, as have Clifton Robinsons. Let's get settled into the game, though. Beeston have the ball on halfway. Quick ball forward along the sidelines. But that's through. And it will be a Clifton Robinsons turnover ball. Few former Bs in the lineup today for Clifton Robinsons. Catherine Lane, who was here last season, uh, she is number three for Clifton Robinsons. Libby Hopkinson is four for Clifton Robinsons. She's a former junior B, and uh, also number nine, a former B in the shape of Phoebe Richards. So it's a bit of a reunion today for quite a few of the number from Clifton Robinsons today. Here goes Beeston, playing it down the left-hand side. Pop ball up in the air. Beeston have the free hit and look to play quickly. They're going back to come forward. And 
nice turn to try and make the space. Charlotte Triggs on the ball, plays it towards the circle. It's bounced up and out. And it's bounced off the corner flag and gone out for a sideline ball. I've been told to tell you about the new uh, flags which are in place here. They're surviving the wind so far. I think they're rooted about six to seven feet in the ground. Sideline ball for Clifton Robinsons. Flicked up and through the air. Bounces once, taken neatly by Paige Gillett, who controls well on halfway. Rubia Pula. Central ball. Nearly stolen, and it is stolen. And Beeston putting on the pressure in a final third here. Huddleston. Wins a long corner. I think that's the outcome from this uh, play here. So Beeston. Certainly having the better of the play. Myri Drummond with a restart to the baseline and in the circle. Can the bees make anything from this? Bit of congestion. And the umpire has noticed a foot and it is Clifton Robinson's ball and they will restart and clear. Promising start from Beeston. Very, very early days though. Uh, things are opening up for Clifton Robinsons as they look to attack down the right-hand side, but that's a tiny bit too strong, and that's out of play for a sideline ball. A reminder, if you're used to the international game, it is now in the Investec Premier Division, four quarters of 17 and a half minutes. Confident defending at the back from the Bees, although given away... Umpire spots an infringement, Beast and Will get us going again from the back. Played along the floor and taken nicely and carried over halfway. Is there some space opening up? That's not quite through to find Sophie McDowell. Nice close control played to the towards the outside, mopped up by Beast and again. Ali Edi. Nice interception. Clifton Robinsons and they will have the ball from the side good turn first real attack building here for Clifton Robinsons but it comes to nothing as Beeston can clear you really can't see the impact of the rain on the camera quick look out of the window here and it looks like night I kid you not it is uh, awful here if you're watching this at home you're watching it in surely the best place kudos to all the players and officials out there in Storm Dennis Rubia Pula in front of your camera here just on the halfway line with the sideline ball looks to go shallow nice pop up from Jess Hood Hood plays the ball in towards the circle Rosie Stevens, Stevens battling to maintain possession of the ball, looks to go towards the baseline, plays the ball in the air, pops up again. Umpire spots the infringement. Clifton Robinsons will have possession. Five minutes gone, no score. In the Investec Premier Division match, Beeston versus Clifton Robinsons. Ball pops up, hits a leg. Ali Edi thought about going quickly there, leaves it for play to build up quickly in towards the circle. And taken nicely in defence from Clifton Robinsons. It's been brought forward a long way. Over halfway now. Good run this. And things could open up here. Nicky Cochran getting a first touch of the ball. Plays the ball out with a strong foot. Clifton Robinson certainly making an impression now on this game. Control from Drummond on halfway. She gets the benefit of the whistle. Tries to play through. A couple of white shirts and doesn't go her way. Just a little bit too strong for Claire Thomas. Now, is that a band around Claire Thomas's right sock? I wonder. Because we've got Lily Webb down as the captain, but that looks like a band to me. See if we can have a focus on that one. Intercepted in midfield. Played out towards the right-hand side. Out of play for a Clifton Robinson's ball. 
just in front of us here. Rosie Stevens looking to get us going again as the ball gets delivered back in. Libby Hopkinson plays it off the back. Using the full width of the pitch here, Clifton Robinsons. Quick few turnovers taken nicely again by Thomas. Beeston step in and win possession back, but it's turned over again. Clifton Robinson's under pressure trying to find the ball forward. Good control this, shepherding the ball away. Hopkinson across the back. And now forward through the middle. It will find a Clifton Robinson stick. Izzy Webb, Webb plays it in towards the circle. It's found a Clifton Robinson stick. And the umpire is found in favor of Beeston. That ball finding its way through a little bit too easy from a Beeston perspective. But they have the ball and play it very quickly through everybody, gifting possession back to the away side. Beeston were in action last weekend. It was a trip to Bowden High Town for the match that was postponed on the 30th of November. It was a close one as they're looking to attack. Could this be a shot on goal? And it is. Beeston have taken the lead. Out of nothing, Alice Huddleston has given the Bees the lead. Now let's see how quickly this one turned over. It was in comfortable possession from Clifton Robinson's, it was a swept ball up, which was taken quickly into the circle. Nice turn and then played beyond the goalkeeper for a Beeston goal. Very, very important for Beeston to score first. Scoring has not been their forte this season so far. Alice Huddleston's first goal of the season has put the Bees in front here. A little bit of a disaster at the back for Clifton Robinsons and nearly inviting trouble again. So quickly turned over. Really not expecting that from a well-disciplined Clifton Robinson's defence, but it is Beeston that have the opening goal. There's a ball out to the left-hand side of the Clifton Robinson's attacking circle. That one comes to nothing. Approaching 10 minutes, Beeston 1, Clifton Robinson's 0. You're watching BTV. Charlotte Triggs making sure the ball's in exactly the right spot as we get going again. The self-pass. Popped out just in front of us here in the chapel. Triggs again. Plays backwards. Beeston really trying to stretch. Clifton Robinson's making the most of the playing field here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. Progressing through the field nicely. Sideline ball. Trying to force their way through a number of white shirts. And they're into the circle again. Beeston here. Played in for two. Fantastic stuff from Beeston. Straight out of the blocks. A second goal in quick succession. They worked it through very quickly indeed. Let's watch this again. Nice close control into the circle and played low and hard. And they're taking the credit there. Courtney Chanel of Australia in her home debut for Beeston. Terrific stuff from the home side. Looking at my facts and figures, courtesy of uh, Colin Pike, the earliest goal that Beeston had scored prior to today was in the 21st minute of the game. And now they have two before we've even finished the 12th. 
So very, very important to get on the score sheet early from Beeston. The goals that have been missing from their game seem to have appeared. Plenty of time in the game, though. Neutrals, this game could go any way. Conditions will, of course, be a factor. Nice turn again. Controlling the ball on the left sideline, playing it forward. This could be an opportunity for a third here. It's up over the goalkeeper. It's over the baseline. And the umpire has indicated that's a long corner, if my reading of the situation is correct. Yes, it is going to be a long corner. Very quickly playing it forward. That may have come off a foot, but nothing was called. Out to the right-hand side now. Rosie Stevens. Towards the baseline, that ball forward from Triggs has been cut out, but it's still in a difficult position for Clifton Robertsons to defend. Played in towards the circle. Play on, says the umpire. The ball goes in, and it's been pulled back for a beast and free hit outside the circle. Katie McKean with possession of the ball now. Now what can she do with it? Keeps the ball low. It's another beast and free hit, but play carries on. Allowed to play on. We will be brought back, and it's the first penalty corner of the game. And it's gone the way of Beeston. It really has been all Bs for the last five minutes or so. Let's have another look at this incident again. You can see the umpire is indicating it will be a free hit for Beeston. The ball goes in towards the circle. It's played in, pops up. And I think it pops up the, uh, off the unfortunate Maria Jones for a penalty corner for Beeston. So far, penalty corners this season. Paige Gillard on two. Ali Eady and Lauren Burrell are on one. wonder if they can add to that total from this and put themselves in a very commanding possession, uh, position in this game. Plenty of options around the circle as well. Played out the trap. Has made it out to the right-hand side. It's come up and it's a repeat penalty corner. I must say the shot didn't get the connection that I think it deserved, but Beeston have been fortunate to uh, have a second bite at the cherry here. You can see that the ball comes out. The first trap isn't ideal, but possession still stays with the bees. And then the shot that comes in doesn't get the right purchase on it, but it again finds a foot. And I think that's uh, Ashley Mannering. This time the trap is good. It's played around to the left-hand side, still live for Beeston. Goalkeeper comes out and blocks. Umpire right on it. Play still continues, and Clifton Robinsons have the free hit. Stolen back again. Only for the umpire's whistle to give possession back to Clifton Robinsons. Played along the floor. Will this one stay in play here? Foot race for possession of the ball. Captain for a long corner. Well worked from Clifton Robinsons. Obviously looking for a quick way back into this game before the quarter time whistle. With it, Kitty Chapel. Played in towards the circle. Good step in and winning the ball back from the home side. And they're on the run again. Beeston striding forward with purpose. Ball still in play just inside the sideline. Paige Gillett plays the ball forward into space. No one quite on the same wavelength. It's going to be a sideline ball for Clifton Robinsons. Good battling again. That ball will drift all the way out of play. I think that may have taken a touch from a beast and stick. So it could be a Clifton Robinson's ball here. Keeping an eye from when we restart. It is a beast and ball. Paige Gillett takes the pass. 
very quickly through the gears and into the attacking quarter. Towards the circle again. Shot towards goal. Umpire's watching on. Play on, says the umpire. Flick ball forward, taken down nicely. Neatly done from Clifton Robinsons and they get the ball from the free hit as well. Tayed out to the right hand side, into the circle they go. What can they make from this? Umpires right on the spot, no foot there. Sideline ball, Clifton Robinsons approaching quarter time here, so stand by for that. Can the away side force an effort on goal before the quarter time whistle? No, is the short answer to that. Beeston, with a commanding performance, have put them two goals to the good against visitors Clifton Robinsons in the Investec Premier Division for women's hockey. Beeston, two, Clifton Robinsons, nil. Alice Huddleston. And Courtney Shunnell with the goals in the ninth and the eleventh minute. I was saying earlier on that prior to today, the first goal scored in a match was on the 21st minute of a Beeston game. So two goals in early has made the difference so far. Let's have a quick look elsewhere. As you see, it is a final score. Surbiton 3, Loughborough Students 1, Hampstead of Westminster 0, Buckingham 2. So a uh, big result in prospect there. Bowden Hightown nil, Holcomb one. That certainly going the way of Beeston at the moment. And as you can see, Beeston two, Clifton Robinson's nil. That would put Beeston up onto 12 points level with Bowden Hightown should things stay the same and with an equal goal difference as well. So. Things going well. There's still three quarters to play, though. And this is top-level hockey. Anything can happen. So, Beeston clearly wanting to get on with this. Not wanting to jinx things here, but it looks and feels a little bit like the wind's died down a touch as we start the second quarter. It will be Clifton Robinson's getting us underway again. We are off and underway. Straight out of defence and the ball is gifted to Beeston. Working their way through the gears. Good mopping up from Holly Savage. And again turned over quickly towards Beeston. Racing in towards the circle. Played across the face of goal and flashing it just all the way through. Didn't get a touch on that. And as if by magic, it definitely now feels like the wind has taken a couple of notches up. A reminder, should the wind get too strong, I'll let you know and we will stop the video from the camera tower. The safety of the camera operator is paramount here. Beeston. Could this be a third? Goalkeepers come out. Strong stick has blocked the shot towards goal and well defended ultimately from Clifton Robinson's Beeston are having a field day here. Played along the ground. Mopped up by Paige Gillett going backwards, maintaining possession for Beeston. Nice take on the outside. Plenty of running from the home side. And it looks like they've got the ball as well on the left. Lots of space to run into here. For a moment, it did look as if Clifton Robinson's had come away with the ball, but it is Beeston that have it now. Direct. Myrie Drummond is 
dispossessed. Clifton Robinson's play towards halfway. Driven ball. Finds a foot and it will be Clifton Robinson's from the restart. Gentle ball forward. Rolls all the way through and out. Twenty minutes on the clock now. Beeston two, Clifton Robinson's nil. One touch of the ball so far from Nicky Cochran in the Beeston goal. And of course, as I keep reminding you, an awful lot can happen so far left to play. Here come the away side striding towards the quarter line in towards the circle. And comfortably defended from the home side. Finding a way with some neat little inter interplay and passing. Ball turned over though. Holly Savage with the important touch. It's going a little bit loose now and Clifton Robinson's will have the benefit of a free hit in a, in a dangerous position here. Play it out towards the right hand side. Fired in and just flashing wide of the upright. Now, did that take a touch off a beast and stick? I think it did, and we'll be restarting with a long corner. The whole chapel is moving. I can feel it against my back, just to give you an idea about how strong the wind is here today. Of course, safety of the players, of course, is very much in our minds as well. Holly Savage making sure the ball's spotted correctly before we can get going again. We are live. And that attack comes to nothing for Clifton Robinsons. Turned over though. Can I make something from this? Umpire Cox pointing towards the beast and goal. Clifton Robinsons will have it from here. Fired in. It's loose in the circle. And it's a goal for Clifton Robinsons. Took a few bumps and Cochrane is beaten from a shot I think in the air let's have another look at that Ogilvy playing the ball it takes two deflections and then fired in from close range Beast and two Clifton Robinson's one is your score Free hit for Clifton Robinsons. A confirmation on your screen. Beast and two. Clifton Robinsons one. I can hear music coming from somewhere. Can anybody else hear music? Or am I imagining it? Claire Thomas is your goal scorer. Officially firing the ball in from close range. Reacting very well, I must say, to that ball in the air. Clifton Robinson's on the attack. Playing a ball across the face of goal. Cochrane blocking it with the feet. You can see the confidence really coming back into Clifton Robinson's players are in the circle again. That's fired towards goal, long corner. Straight through, 
you did see it hit the backboard, no goal as it didn't take a touch in the attacking circle. Taken on the halfway line by Ashley Mannering. And stolen back by Beeston on the attack here. Harriet Dugan involved. Good control of the ball on the left-hand side. That will then go over the baseline. And Clifton Robinsons will start again from the back. with a long blast on the whistle Beeston have been granted an opportunity with the ball in fact no it has gone the other way a little bit of confusion in all quarters there as to the direction of that free hit now the confidence we can see returning back to Clifton Robinson's Beeston were two goals up and I think their confidence has taken a bit of a knock here Loose in the middle of the field, taken well. From the away side, striding forward with a bit of purpose. Ashley Mannering checks one way and then the other. Finds Zoe Leach. Leach looks forward, plays the ball into the circle, pops up off Paige Gillett. It's in the circle, free hit. Now outside of the circle for the visitors. From a very successful position last time, what can they do from here? Forward they go. Loose in the circle. Scrambling defence from the home side. It's still not truly away. Clifton Robinsons have the free hit again. Very dangerous position. Looking to get back on terms. Space for the visitors to work into here. Decent mopping up. Picked up nicely. Rosie Stevens. Rosie Stevens just nudged off the ball. It will be a sideline ball for the Bees. Very, very, very strong gust of wind. Sophie McDowell. Bees have the ball. Next break will be on 35 minutes for half time. Short pass forward towards the baseline. Picked up by Kim Leeper. From the side go Clifton Robinsons. Visibly stronger now Clifton Robinsons as they go through and play the ball out to the right hand side. Ball in the circle towards the baseline. Teammates are there. Beeston looking to avoid a foot. Long corner is the decision. Loose in the circle again. Another free hit for Clifton Robinsons. What can they make of it? It's popped up and loose, taken away by Beeston. And they have the benefit of a free hit as well. Another free hit for Beeston. Played quickly towards the left-hand side. A lot of movement 
in the black shirts of Beeston at the moment. Picked up by goal scorer Claire Thomas in midfield. That does come off a foot. The wayside playing it forward. And that is all the way through. Approaching 30 minutes completed. Beeston 2, Clifton Robinsons 1. You're watching BTV, a very entertaining game here. Beeston 2, Clifton Robinsons 1 played in awful, awful conditions. Just nudged out of play. The bees will get us going again from the side. Aerial ball from the side. Myri Drummond penalised. Now this could work very nicely for Clifton Robinson. A shot towards goal. And that's wide of the upright. Presented with the opportunity. Wouldn't mind having a quick look at that again if that's possible. But we'll play continues on. And the ball's out of play. See uh, that replay of that action very quickly. How close was this to 2-2? Control was good in towards the circle and chopped wide of the upright. I believe that's Lily Webb number 20 with the opportunity. That's how close the margins are today. You can see the spots of rain getting bigger and bigger on the camera lens. Myrie Drummond plays it forward. Picked up by Alice Huddleston. And over the baseline. Making sure we restart from precisely the right spot. Only proper. Up Hula. To Gillett. Gillett looks forward. Where's that opportunity? It's fired in towards the circle. It's through a crowd of players. It must have come off a beast and stick last, as it's going to be a Clifton Robertson's ball. The floodlights are on, and through the window, it does look like night. No exaggeration. The camera's doing a wonderful job of bringing you these pictures. Ball slides forward. Picked up by Gillett. All action. She has conceded the free hit, though. Is there time for another goal before the end of the half? Will we end the half all square? Or will we end the half with the bees in the lead? Ashley Mannering. Goes down the left channel, comes off a beast and foot. And I get another go from a little bit further along. Back and live again. Things are sticking for Clifton Robinsons now. Passes are going forward and finding the stick, and things are happening when they weren't so in the first 15 minutes or so. All very congested. Beeston play out of defence. Clifton Robinsons have the free hit. Nudged out of play. Sideline ball for the visitors again. 90 seconds left of this half. Very, very entertaining half. Across the back. That's been picked off. Clifton Robinsons, though, will so we'll definitely come away with a ball here from the side. Catherine Lane. Mannering. Bobbling ball. Still in the hands and the possession of the away side. 40 seconds left into the circle. Small appeal there for a foot, but nothing happening. 
ball still in play. In fact, just nudged out of play. It will be a sideline ball. 30 seconds left also of this second quarter of the game. Beeston have that free hit and potentially will see out the second quarter with possession of the ball and with a two goal to one advantage. In fact, there is the whistle. Beeston two, Clifton Robinson's one is your half time score in the Investec Premier Division. It's a game that's had plenty of action and let's have a look at those match details. Alice Huddleston scoring first in the ninth minute. Two minutes later, Courtney Chanel adding a second. And then Clifton Robinson's visibly lifted when Claire Thomas scored from close range, firing in through the air and beating Nicky Cochran for 2-1. So we've got a 10-minute half-time break. Beeston 2, Clifton Robinson's 1. Let's have a quick look at the other scores around the competition. As a result from earlier on, Surbiton 3, Loughborough Students 1, Hampstead of Westminster 0, Buckingham 2. Seven minutes left to play there. As things stand, that could be doing uh, big things for, for Buckingham. Bowden High Town 0, Holcombe 1. Very, very, very tight game, that one. Both teams in seventh and eighth position in the table at the start of the day. And as you can see, bringing you live, Beeston 2, Clifton Robinson's 1. We'll have a 10-minute break. A quick reminder, though, of some of the action that's coming up over the summer here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. The World Cup is coming to Nottingham. Join us here at Nottingham Hockey Centre from the 8th to the 17th of August 2020. The over 35s and over 40s Masters World Cup will be played here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. Everywhere you look, there will be a game, more or less. More details, head to the website, masters2020.hockey. I'll give you that again, time to write it down. While we're on the half-time break, masters2020.hockey. See you there. Hi, I'm Steve Parker from FHP Living with the sales agents down here at Trent Basin. A stunning mixed development of apartments and quality homes set directly on the riverfront. If you'd like any more information or to arrange a viewing, please contact us at the office or have a look on our website. When you succeed. We succeed. So, we listen. We tailor. And we invest in you. We are innovators. We deliver results. And world-class service. We are always developing. Learning and growing. And getting better at what we do. Supporting your business. We make technology effortless. And more than just a means to an end. We're the team who serve. And advise you. All to help you achieve. And surpass your goals. We're super. We're honest. And go the extra mile. We're winners. And team players. And together. We're the managed service provider. We're Air IT. We're Air IT. We're Air IT. 
your number one for IT and comms. I played at the highest level for Holland since I was 17. First you start as a talented little girl and just go and play, and now you really have to carry the team. A lot of the media, they always write things about you, but it's not important. I know what I can do, and the people that I really care about, they always believe in me. And I've always been a fighter. Even when you think you can't go anymore, you just keep on going because of your team. My position in the field is important, but without the others, I'm a no one. Speed is very important. There isn't room for error actually. It's just me, opponents and my teammates. You have to give it your all. No mercy. Every competition we play, we just want to win. When you step on the podium, it's just... Welcome back to BTV. Catching us a little bit off guard there. It looks as if we're going to restart a little bit early due to the conditions. So, we'll... Uh, Nice to, as ever to see Ava De Ho, the two-time FIH Women's Player of the Year on BTV. We've had to cut her appearance short as we're restarting live commentary of Beeston versus Clifton Robinsons here from a blustery, wet and uh, increasingly nasty <laughs> Nottingham Hockey Centre. Um, just to keep you aware, should conditions get too bad for the camera team to operate, we will stop. You can actually see the wind picking up the rain in the air I'll let you know and of course anything happens with the players coming off we'll keep a close eye on that as well doing what we can to keep everybody safe and uh, secure here on BTV entertaining first half what's the second half got in store for us Clifton Robinson's in the white shirts attacking the boulevard end which is the right of your screen in this second half, Beeston in the dark shirts attacking the goal to the left of your screen. We are, we are missing at the moment is a ball. There we go. Uh, it will be a Clifton Robinson's restart. They visibly increased in confidence when they scored and the confidence that was soaring through Beeston. They had two or three further chances to score when they were at 2-0. That ebbed away. So we'll see how that uh, pans out over the course of the next 34 minutes that remain in this match. These have it through Katie McKee. Playing it down the sideline. A little bit of an appeal, but it is a beast and ball. Ball pops up. Is that kept in play? Yes, it is kept in play. Good tussle for it. Another burst on the whistle. And a quick ball forward. This could fall kindly for Clifton Robinson's. A very, very good intervention in defence from Beeston. Taking the sting out of that, Clifton Robinson's attack, another whistle, and Myrie Drummond goes long. It's with Courtney Chanel. She's now in the circle, the ball's on the outside. Can she get on the end of this one? She scored once already. No, it is a Clifton Robinson's ball. Bounces into possession for Beeston. Picked up by Kim Leeper. Leeper strokes it back to Ali Eady.
taken in the air. Visitors have it under pressure. Well done at the back there. Confident, competent possession of the ball. Come a long way with it. Now, can they translate this possession into an attack, Clifton Robinson? They've gone through the middle to run from Claire Thomas, the score of the goal to make it 2 1 for Clifton Robinson. Just can't keep it in play. Beeston will have it. While we're uh, waiting for the restart, I'll have a quick look out of the uh, the window here in the, in the chapel just to get a real true feeling of the conditions. Yeah is the uh, one word result for that. <sighs> so the bees on the attack again. They have a free hit from the right hand side, close to the sideline, taken quickly towards the baseline, fired in across the face of goal. And the umpire indicates it will be a turnover for Clifton Robinsons. Visitors giving possession away here. Could this be an opportunity for a third? Fired in towards goal. Goalkeeper does well and blocks with a left foot. Aline Devissa, she's played every single game this season for Clifton Robinsons. Right in the right place at the right time. Quick word about the cup as well. These two teams in cup action as well. Birmingham University were the opponents for Beeston. It was a uh, nil nil draw. And the Bees won it 4-1 on a shootout. Gloucester City with the opponents for Clifton Robinsons. Now, the official information here is not particularly clear. I can tell you who played, and I can tell you it went to a penalty shootout. However, I can't tell you what happened. Uh, I know, uh, according to the official record, it was 0-0, and the shootout was 0-0. But Clifton Robinsons are through to the next round. They're playing Buckingham in the Cup on the 1st of March. Beeston, it's a local derby with the University of Nottingham. Clifton Robinson's in the circle, across the face of goal. Cochrane in the right place. It's all very, very busy. It's still live in the circle. That's good pace, taking the ball over halfway. Still in possession. Excellent run, this. And Katie McKee's run brought to and end illegally, so it'll be a free hit for Beeston. McKee looks to play the ball down the right-hand side. Kept in play and turned forwards. Long corner. Beeston growing back into the game. They had a bit of a shock when they conceded that first Clifton Robinson's goal. Things are starting to lift up from their point of view as well. Another long corner indicated by the umpire. Building up a little bit of a head of steam here, the home side. Held up just outside the circle. Another beast and free hit. Chanel stands over the ball. Knocks it out to the right-hand side, towards the baseline. And out of play. Disappointing from a Beeston perspective. Clifton Robinson survive. A little bit of a sustained spell of pressure there. Approaching the end of 43 minutes in the women's Premier Division match. Beeston versus Clifton Robinsons. Here's the away side that have the ball from the side. They've moved it from the left to the right. With it, Maria Jones. Jones's progress is stopped 
by a trio of Beeston players. But she does manage to find a pass. That ball through is blocked and popped up in the air and played to safety. Although there's a whistle and we will be brought back. My understanding is that the uh, that was played dangerously in the air. So we'll restart. Really good battling for the ball. Fired across into the circle and all the way through. Umpire right on the scene to ensure it is a sideline ball. Picked up by Jess Hood. Hood nudges the ball out of play. Jones. Clifton Robinson's finding their rhythm a little here as they play the ball just outside the reach of the player on the far side. Crunch ball out of defence. Taken very, very nicely into all by Lauren Burrell. Her pass, though, is finally through to a beast and player in the circle. Goalkeeper comes out. Davisa does very well to block the ball. Speaking of the ball, where is it? It is now here. Ball played along the ground challenge for it and I think we're going to see a card here umpire going to a pocket I'm going to make an assumption there that that's a green card as I couldn't see the shape or the colour so there'll be a numerical advantage for at least two minutes here So what can they do? Clifton Robinson's finding a little bit of space. And it's a free hit in a dangerous position. With it, Phoebe Richards. Another free hit for Clifton Robinson's. Goes back. There is space into the circle. Can this be a shooting opportunity? Clifton Robinson's not had... A penalty corner yet in the game. Beeston doing an extremely good job of blocking the path to goal. And they have possession. Well defended. Turnover on halfway. Dangerous this from Clifton Robinsons. Again, solid defence from Beeston. 47 minutes almost elapsed here at Nottingham Hockey Centre. That ball holding up a little bit on the turf and through all the way. Moving through the field quickly. The visitors of Clifton Robinsons are at the baseline. They're appealing for a penalty corner, and that is the first penalty corner of the game for Clifton Robinsons. Celebrations there through almost the full length of the field here in a matter of seconds. How quickly they achieved that. The ball inside was good as well. And you can see exactly where that ball hit. So it is a penalty corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven around the edge of the circle to inject Phoebe Richards, if I'm not mistaken, a former B. Now 
Now it looks as if every somebody's gone a little bit too quickly. No one's been forced to go back to halfway, so we're going to have another go at that. Very steady. Good block. Excellent running. Things, though, are still in progress from Clifton Robinsons. And Beeston survived that scare. And this could work very well. Chanel has come a long way with the ball. Can she find a pass? She's played it out very, very nicely to the left-hand side of the circle. And it's been tapped out of play so quickly from defence into attack from Beeston. Forty-eight and a half minutes played. Played in towards the goal. It's come off of the body of a Clifton Robinson's player. In towards the circle. Turn towards goal. And the umpire points in favour of the away side. We'll have another break for three-quarter time at 52 and a half minutes. Swamping the attack. Beeston doing very well here. A little bit more composure as they're finding the space. Clifton Robinson's committing more players forward, looking for that equalising goal. Keeping the ball in the corner. With it now, Heidi Devey. Devey plays the ball into space. Edie. Out towards the right-hand side. Twists, turns, possession given away. Nice check back and a nice intelligent pass inside. The attack continues from Clifton Robinsons under intense pressure from Myrie Drummond, who has won the better of the ball here. Her ball forward, though, is straight to a Clifton Robinson stick. Non-stop this. Maria Jones touches the ball forwards. Devay. Looks to go down the left-hand side. Chanel. It will be Beeston from the side. Hood looks up. What's she going to do with this one? Chanel does very well with the 3D skill. She's into the circle here. Can she find this foot? Can she find a shot? She has found a foot, and it is a penalty corner for Beeston. Clock Ticks on to 50 minutes. Chanel, first game in home for Beeston here. Look what she does. Does very well to intercept the ball. Takes it beyond the one player in the air. Goes round to the left-hand side. Thinks and then engineers the opportunity through uh, finding the body of Ashley Mannering. Have we found a new star here on BTV? Started last week against uh, Bowden Hightown. First home appearance, first goal. Clock ticks on to 51 minutes. Beeston 2, Clifton Robinson's 1. The trap is good. Gillett plays it out towards the right-hand side. A little bit overcomplicated. The opportunity is still there with the ball in the circle. Towards the baseline. Turned in favour of another penalty corner for Beeston. Ramping the pressure up a little bit more. Can they find a third goal which may settle the nerves? Or can Clifton Robinson defend as they have done very well in the second half so far? Let's have a look at that replay here. Jess Hood going on the outside. Plays the ball up and flicked up in the air. Umpire right on the spot there. Is she indicating it was on the back of the stick? I think... My umpiring certificate still in the post, I presume. So here we go. Lots to choose from on the edge of the circle for Beeston. It's trapped. It's out to Chanel. Chanel plays it in. It is loose. It's still live. And the umpire's whistle has gone. And it's gone the way of the away side. 30 seconds away from three-quarter time. And Clifton Robinsons have got numbers forward here. Out towards the right-hand side. Fired across the baseline, defended well from Beeston and flicked up out of harm's way from a home perspective. Triggs. Towards, towards halfway. 
with it. Huddleston plays the ball forward. Is it going to be too late for the half? Either way, Clifton Robinsons have possession and we should be moments away from that whistle. In fact, right on cue, that is that three-quarter time whistle. Beeston 2, Clifton Robinsons 1, 17 and a half minutes to play as the players dash off for instructions and presumably a little bit of extra warmth as well. Alice Huddleston's goal opened things up on the ninth minute from open play. Courtney Chanel with the second on 11 and Beeston were very much in charge of the game at that point. Clifton Robinson's finding a way through as they have done so frequently this season through Claire Thomas and Clifton Robinson's were lifted by that. No further goals in the third quarter. A quick look at some of the other games. Uh, that's confirmation of Kim Leeper's green card, by the way. It is all over. Hampstead and Westminster 1, Buckingham 2. Last time we dipped in, it was 2-0 to Buckingham. Hampstead and Westminster on the score sheet, but a defeat for them in their chase for the top position in the division. Bowden Hightown nil, Holcomb three with seven minutes left to play. That's a, a big game for uh, uh, in the context of the bottom of the division. Beeston, as things stand, would uh, be very, very close to Bowden Hightown. And as you can see, the game we're at, Beeston to Clifton Robinson's one. A quick reminder as well, what's coming up in the summer here? It's the Masters World Cup coming to Nottingham, a festival of hockey from the 8th to the 17th of August 2020. Get down, get your tickets, head to Masters uh, sorry, masters2020.hockey. That's masters2020.hockey. Players are set and ready to go for the start of the fourth and final quarter. Which direction are the points going? Beeston, they're in the lead. Clifton Robinsons, though, they might have enough to get something in the bank here. It has, br it looks like it's brightened a touch and the wind has died down a little. But it's still not nice to be outside. And uh, just been pointed in the direction of something horrible in the sky in the distance so uh, we're probably a couple of minutes away from that hopefully we'll get to the end of the game before that cloud unleashes a, a more rain I'll keep you updated obviously any danger to the players in terms of conditions that's down to the match officials and uh, we'll rely on them for their guidance Clifton Robinson's looking for that equalizing goal Nice ball out to the corner of the field, just out of reach. Still extremely blowy. You can see the drops of rain from the camera position as well. Here we go again. Maria Jones plays it back. Olivia Hopkinson spreads it across the back of the defence. Mannering out to the left touch line. The ball goes. Now it's starting to open up for Clifton Robinsons, and that has gone the way of Beeston. Important intervention at the right time. From a home perspective. Crunch ball through the middle. Finds a Clifton Robinson stick. Nudged away. Nice pass all the way through. Picked up by Kitty Chapel. Chapel has come a long way with it. And nudged away. Rosie Stevens in possession of the ball now. Stevens goes to ground. Just in front of us. No suggestion of any uh, any card from the umpire who's just right in front of us here. Play continues. 11 versus 11. Chanel, she's done very well here, making space for herself in towards the circle, and she's engineered another penalty corner. Really very, very lively indeed, taking the congratulations of her teammates. Look how quickly this moved forward. So, Leeper, Chanel turns... Beats the defender, goal side, 
checks back and wins a penalty corner. So discussions ongoing. That rain that I said hopefully will hold off is very much here now. Eight, if my uh, counting is to be believed, on the outside of the circle. Chanel. Real battle for the ball. I think that may have been a tiny bit over-elaborate. And Clifton Robinsons have got numbers here. Playing it into the circle very quickly. Intelligent play. This is going to be a shot on goal for sure. Oh, well defended. Very, very well defended. Kim Leeper turns, looking for a foot, has found the foot. Clifton Robinsons did brilliantly in the attack there. They did very, very well. They knew to play the ball backwards as everyone in black was running towards the goal. But it was incredibly well defended. 56 minutes and 40 seconds on the match clock. Beeston 2, Clifton Robinsons 1 couple of turnovers sees the ball with Beeston out towards the right should be mopped up by Clifton Robinsons and it has been given a penalty corner in favor of Beeston I wouldn't mind having another look at that one that seemed to come out of nowhere I'm sure the umpire was absolutely spot on so let's see what the offense was so Clifton Robinsons given the ball away towards halfway ball running loose Obstruction is the indication. So fortunate, but deserved. So the last effort was elaborate. Surely set the dial to power. Let's see what happens here. Pops up, it's loose. Can this be converted into a shot towards goal? It's through and a couple of sticks wide of the goal. And it is a Clifton Robinson's defensive hit. As ever, you can nominate your player of the match. Do get in touch via social media. At official BHC on the Twitters. That's at official BHC. And we'll have a look at your nominations for player of the match. We're not necessarily looking for Beeston players. Who stood out for you? And they will be awarded player of the match. Umpire's about to deliver a card. That's not on your screen, but that's a green card. And I think running off is number six, Holly Savage, for Clifton Robinsons. So that's a two-minute temporary suspension from the game. So Beeston will have an extra player for that two minutes whilst that green card is counted off the clock. Oh, uh, there's rain coming in the chapel. I'm not telling you, the listener. I'm just letting everybody else know in the chapel that there's definitely water coming through from somewhere. We'll be all right. If we suddenly go off air, you know what's happened. In fact, um, I need to just take evasive action there for a moment. It's definitely not very pleasant at all. So the, the rain is drifting through the roof here at the, uh, the chapel and the wind has picked up again. This is turning out to be like a disaster movie weather forecast. But we'll keep uh, you can see the wind swirling the rain around as scale again. Play though continues and the players doing very, very well in these conditions to play the game that they have done. Good control. Play on, shouts the umpire. The two minute temporary suspension for Holly Savage almost up. Seems to be numbers back for Beeston. Clifton Robinsons will get another chance with it.
turned over in midfield. Played forward again from the away side. That'll get its chance to play forward. Player goes to ground. A little bit of slipping there. Flora Fletcher. First appearance of the season for her. Ball forward has been mopped up from Beeston but given away via the umpire's whistle. Phoebe Richards' progress is stopped illegally. Her run towards goal continues. She tries to play the ball out to the right-hand side and that is a penalty corner for Clifton Robinsons. Phoebe Richards doing incre incredibly well to continue the run. Here she is in the centre of your screen now, receives the ball. Twists, turns, finds a way through. And then there's just a... There's the indication, so it's a penalty corner. To inject, Flora Fletcher. One, two, three, four, five, six around the edge of the circle. That's a seven now. And it really has got extremely windy. The umpire's just making sure everyone's got their protection. We're off and running again. What can the visitors do from this? Low and then away from goal. Important touch and well defended. Eight minutes left to play. One more call. Who stood out for you? Could be a Clifton Robinson's player. Could be a Beeston player. Who's been your player of the match? Let us know via the socials at OfficialBHC on Twitter. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on YouTube. Let us know. Get in touch. Always good to hear from a viewer. Wherever you are watching in the world and wherever you're watching, do let us know where you're watching as well. Clifton Robinson's important stick intervention as well. I don't want to say it's got untidy, but it's certainly less neat than it was half an hour ago. And I'm sure the conditions aren't helping things. Clifton Robinson's free hit, quarter of the way out from their own baseline. Played along the ground, taken well. Moved on forwards and out of play. Seven minutes left in this one. You're watching live on BTV. This is a match in the Investec Premier Division women's hockey. Beeston versus Clifton Robinsons. It's Saturday, the 15th of February, 2020. And the two teams aren't only battling each other. They are battling the conditions as well. At least it's not lightning today. This is good on the right-hand side. Decent step in and a decent touch in the defence from Clifton Robinsons as well. Beeston from the side though. Into the corner. Will it be kept there or will it be played towards the circle? It's a free hit, so it will go towards the circle. And it's being blown up as going out. Long corner is the strong indication from the umpire. Six minutes left now. Can Clifton Robinsons get on terms? Certainly they can't if the ball's down this end. Nudged out of play. From the player's body language, it looks like it's going to be a beast and ball from the side, and it is. In towards the circle now. It's played across the face of goal. Can this be turned into a shooting opportunity? It's been... A Clifton Robinson's ball. That's popped up. They'll play to get out of defence. Good battling again. Burrell in towards the circle. Shields the ball. 
kicked out of danger's way. Long corner. Five minutes remain. These delays helping the Beeston cause you feel. Little slip there. No hint of a... Oh, it is a free hit for Beeston. I thought that was a slip. I think the umpire saw something I didn't. It's loose in front of the goal. And the umpire's blown in favour of the defensive team. Just over four minutes remain. Drama. Everywhere you look. Intercepted. Katie McKee did very well here. Beeston finishing the game very strongly, but as we've seen, Clifton Robinsons can get down the other end of the field very quickly indeed. So, sideline ball for the visitors. Played out of defence. And this is Clifton Robinson's working the ball very quickly from one end to the other. Good run this, Zoe Leach. It's fallen kindly though for Beeston. With it, Kim Leeper. Leeper's ball is good, finds Burrell. And out towards the right-hand side, running with the ball. Rosie Stevens. Rosie Stevens can't keep it under control though. Who's going to put the ball back in from the side? It will be a beast and ball. Very congested. A free hit. It looks like it to me. Less than three minutes to go now. Professional job here. Kicked out of harm's way from Clifton Robinson's, but it's been kept in that final quarter of the field. Player goes to ground. Clifton Robinson's invited to play on. Strong touch. Real battle here on the far side of the field. Beeston have the ball. Two and a half minutes to play. Three very, very important points at stake here. From a game management point of view, the longer the ball stays down this end of the field, it is three points for Beeston. Two minutes remain. Fired in towards the circle. Clifton Robinsons have the whistle go against them. Another free hit. Vital seconds disappearing off the clock. With it, Katie McKee. Now it has been turned over. Played in the air. It's another long burst of the whistle. And it is a ball for Clifton Robinsons to attack. 90 seconds. Time to put the numbers forward. The goalkeeper's still in the goal, by the way. So it's not 11 outfielders. It's uh, 10 versus 10 outfield. Beeston have it. Shooting chance potentially here. It's a penalty corner. Just what the home side wanted. The umpire, Claire White, is pointing at her leg, saying it the ball hit the leg of the defender. And given the position in the game, this is exactly what they want from the home side. Number 14, Izzy Webb, the player that was penalised. So, options here. Is it worth a strike at goal, or is it better to hang on to possession of the ball, I wonder? Obviously, a goal would be the desired outcome, but possession of the ball for Beeson would surely secure three valuable points. Let's see what they do. Played in towards goal. Low and hard. Bounces away. 
and Clifton Robertson's have it. They've got 30 seconds to get the ball down the other end of the field. Beeson doing everything they can to block their path towards goal. And they have possession with a free hit, which I'm sure they're going to take as long as they possibly can to restart. That's out of play. Now is the indication there a long corner? No, that is it. It is all over. A victory for Beeston in their match today in incredible conditions. Well played to both sides, I must say. Conditions were atrocious. Well played, Beeston. Well played, Clifton Robinsons. Final score, though, Beeston to Clifton Robinsons. One, Alice Huddlestone. Opening the scoring on the ninth minute. Two minutes later, home debut. First goal for Courtney Chanel. And Claire Thomas pulling one back for Clifton Robinsons on 23. No further score, but plenty of drama, plenty of action. This is top flight hockey. We will be back. Quick look at the next fixtures for the two teams. It's a double weekend for Beeston. Firstly, away at Loughborough and then hosting Bowden the next day. So that's the 22nd and 23rd. Next on the slate for Clifton Robinsons, it's hosting University of Birmingham on the 22nd and on the 23rd, hosting Buckingham. So two home games over the next weekend for Clifton Robinsons. Quick other reminder about the other games that have been going on today. Firstly, the results from earlier in the day. Uh, Surbiton secured another three points to move them on to 37. Surbiton on to 37 points. Hampstead and Westminster defeated at home today by Buckingham by one goal to two. Buckingham moving on to 17 points there. Bowden Hightown nil. Holcomb three. Holcomb having three points and moving on to 16. And uh, we're awaiting confirmation there. Beeston will move from nine points. So they'll go on to, from, from nine through 10, through 11, and on to 12 points. But because of the goal difference situation, it's going to be remarkably close between who is in eighth place at the end of the day. University of Birmingham not in action today. Their match with East Grinstead off due to East Grinstead's indoor commitments. And I'm sure everybody would much prefer to be indoors today rather than outdoors. But we have seen an excellent match here today. Credit must go to Adam Milsom, who's our camera operator, who's been upstairs getting absolutely battered by the wind. So I'd like to place credit, my thanks to Adam and also to the players, umpires and officials and those outside who have been making this game possible. So thanks for watching BTV. We will be back very, very soon indeed. Thank you very much for watching. And from me, Andy Day, see you again soon. Bye now. Beeston were in action last weekend. It was a trip to Bowden Hightown for the match that was postponed on the 30th of November. It was a close one as they looking to attack. Could this be a shot on goal? And it is. Beeston have taken the lead. Out of nothing. Alice Hurt. Sideline ball. Trying to force their way through a number of white shirts. And they're into the circle again. Beeston here. Played in for two. Fantastic start. Video from the camera tower. The safety of the camera operator is paramount here. Beeston. Could this be a third? Goalkeepers come out. Strong stick has blocked the shot towards goal. And... Well defended, ultimately. Umpire Cox pointing towards the Beeston goal. Clifton Robinsons will have it from here. Fired in. It's loose in the circle. And it's a goal for Clifton Robinsons. Myrie Drummond penalised. Now, this could work very nicely for Clifton Robinson's shot towards goal. And that's wide of the upright, presented with the opportunity. Uh, playing Buckingham in the Cup on the 1st of March. Beeston, it's a local derby with the University of Nottingham. Clifton Robinson's in the circle, across the face of goal. Cochrane in the right place. It's all very, very busy. It's still live in the circle.
ball played along the ground. Challenge for it, and I think we're going to see a card here. Umpire going to a pocket. I'm going to make an assumption there that that's a green card, as I couldn't see the shape or the colour. Moving through the field quickly. The visitors of Clifton Robinsons are at the baseline. They're appealing for a penalty corner, and that is the first penalty corner of the game for Looks Up. What's she going to do with this one? Chanel does very well with the 3D skill. She's into the circle here. Can she find this foot? Can she find a shot? She has found a foot, and it is a penalty corner for no suggestion of any uh, any card from the umpire who's just right in front of us here. Play continues. 11 versus 11. Chanel, she's done very well here, making space for herself in towards the circle, and she's engineered another penalty corner. Elaborate. And Clifton Robinsons have got numbers here, playing it into the circle very quickly. Intelligent play. This is going to be a shot on goal for sure. Oh, well defended. Very, very well defended. Kim, 56 minutes and 40 seconds on the match clock. Beeston 2, Clifton Robinson's 1. A couple of turnovers. Sees the ball with Beeston. Out towards the right. Should be mopped up by Clifton Robinson's. And it has been given a penalty corner in favour of Beeston.